we have a geometric progression which consists of even number of terms. Here, the sum of all the terms is 5 times the sum of the terms occupying the odd place. So we need to determine the common ratio. So let's begin. First, let's say that there are 2n number of terms. So let there be 2n terms present in the GP with the first term given by the a letter a in lowercase and the common ratio is represented by the letter r in lowercase as well the sum of all the terms that means a1 plus a2 plus a3 all the way up to the 2n terms so this sum is equals to 5 times the sum of the terms occupying the odd places that means a1 plus a3 plus all the way up to the last term which is a2n minus 1 now here a1 a3 and the last term which is a2n minus 1 these are also even terms but they are only occupying the odd places a1 so that's simply a plus the a2 which is the second term that's obtained by multiplying the first term with the common ratio r then we have a r squared plus all the way up to the 2n terms so this will be a r raised to the power of 2n minus 1 which will be equals to 5 times the a1 which is the first term so that's a plus the third term will be a r squared plus all the way up to a r raised to the power of 2n minus 2 right now we can take a as the common factor from each of the terms that we have uh, and we can cancel out that a from both sides so this is going to give us 1 plus r plus r squared all the way up to r raised to the power of 2n minus 1 which would be equals to 5 times 1 plus r squared plus r raised to the power of 4 all the way up to r raised to the power of 2n minus 2. So this is a geometric progression with a first term 1. So here the first term is 1 with a common ratio of r. The so r is r and in the second geometric progression the first term is 1 and the common ratio is r squared. So we can use the formula for finding out the sum which is given by a times r raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So we have, so we'll have a which is the first term 1 multiplied to r raised to the power of the number of terms. So there are 2n number of terms minus 1 whole divided by r minus 1. So this will be equals to 5 multiplied to. So here the sum will be 1. So this is the first term multiplied to r squared whole raised to the power since we're considering only the terms present in the odd places so we have only n number of terms so this will be uh, r squared raised to the power of n so that means we have r raised to the power of 2n minus 1 divided by the common ratio which is r squared minus 1 so let's further simplify so we have r raised to the power of 2n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so that's equals to 5 multiplied to r raised to the power of 2n minus 1 divided by r squared minus 1 is simply r minus 1 divided by r plus 1. So here we will have 1 equals to 5 divided by r plus 1. So cross multiplying gives us r plus 1 equals to 5. So solving for r, the common ratio is equals to 4.